In some instances, sulphur dioxide from combustion is removed from the flue gases by using it either to produce sulfuric acid or gypsum for construction. These products can then be sold to help offset the cost of running the flue gas desulfurization plant. In both cases, oxygen is used to help encourage the necessary reactions that need to take place. In the case of sulfuric acid, adding excess air to the sulfur dioxide and vanadium oxide converts it to sulfur trioxide, SO3. When combined with water, this produces H2SO4, or sulfuric acid. In the case of gypsum, limestone slurry used in wet scrubbing processes combines with sulfur dioxide to produce calcium sulphite. When subjected to a forced oxidation process involving the addition of water and oxygen, the sulphite is converted into gypsum. In addition to these processes, oxygen is also required in flue gas desulfurization processes using seawater. As the seawater absorbs the sulphur dioxide, oxygen is added, creating a mix of sulphate ions and hydrogen, which in turn converts to water and CO2 gas. In all three cases, using an oxygen probe to accurately measure oxygen concentrations can help to regulate the conversion of sulphur dioxide. For more information about ABB's AZ Analyzer range, contact your local sales representative or visit www.abb.com forward slash measurement.